Let me show you this spot. Why won't I just get my face cleared? Does another one come out from nowhere? God damn you, spot. Good morning. Um. Oh. It's the kettle. Uh, Ryan will kill us for that, you know, putting the sound of the kettle on. Hopefully you can't, you can hear me over it. Um. No, you can't. I'll go in the bedroom. Oh, I want to just live here. So we're off to work. And then today should be quite, like, really quite quiet because Monday is usually quite busy for us randomly. Even when it's quiet, it's quite busy. But today should be a different kettle of fish, so it gives us a chance to do some jobs. We're on the cafe. Um, I have my car back, thank God. And then who knows what we're going to do this afternoon? Who knows? Clean this house. That's what you'll see. You'll see Ryan do some cleaning for the first time because it's an absolute tip. But it's just that we've both been to a vlog recent. Well, that's not really an excuse, to be honest. There is no excuse, really. It's not dirty. You know, it's not like actually dirty. It needs to be spotless for Christmas. So that's probably our idea. That's what it'll consist of. Obviously a problem when you wake up and could go back to sleep for another eight hours. We go to bed too late. You know, talking about going to bed, that's got me thinking about maybe some New Year's resolutions that we could possibly have. Going to bed is maybe one of them, uh, like earlier. Maybe getting up and doing something productive on a morning instead of just getting up and like going straight to work, that could help. What are some of your New Year's resolutions? I'd like to hear them. Look what came this morning for us. <coughs> oh, look what came this morning. <coughs> Aiden, what? I'm bloody choking. Don't start the vlog then. Take two. So, look, we'll come this morning. I haven't come this morning. The parcels <laughs> have come this morning. Do you know how many takes we've just done? Just get that bloody shot because Aiden's the worst cameraman ever. How oh, dare you? I've seen you all morning to morning. Um, so, yeah, these came this morning. Should we have a look to see what is inside them? I'm going to clue. There is no like return address on that. I'm... Yep, there is. Okay. <laughs> this is take 70. Yes. Three, two, one, and good morning. Morning, guys. Uh, we have got two parcels and just having to hide. And Return address. Yes, so I will open these up now. We haven't got a clue what the, what's inside. This one is from Wilfred. Oh. What is it at? I can only see it through the... Oh, is it a Christmas decoration? Yeah, Christmas decoration. Oh, that is cute. You know I love balls and Christmas decorations. So you got that one. Oh, that's, that's lovely, that one. There you go. That's lovely, that isn't is it? That is lovely, yeah, that's beautiful. And then we've got that one as well. I like that one. That is very, very cute. They'll go on our it? Christmas tree tonight. They're adorable. Is this handmade? Let me see. It looks handmade. It, lo it does look handmade. That looks lovely, that. Dear Ryan and Aiden, I wish you a Merry Christmas. It is... What does that say? But I can't read your handwriting. Aiden's gonna have to try. Uh, dear Ryden and Aiden, I wish you a Merry Christmas. It is important for me. Thank you, Wilfred. <laughs> right, <laughs> Wilfred, we can't read your handwriting at all. Thank you. Right, what so I'll do much is your... right, when the camera's like off, I'll write out yeah, right what it says, and in a bit. We'll read out the, the letter. On the moment, we couldn't read your handwriting, so it'll take a little bit of revision. I'm right. sorry. On to the next thing. This is from Brent. And he said that he'd sent um, a bauble of his hometown. Oh, that's lovely, that. Yeah, and it's like a printed on his, of his hometown, so that'll definitely go up as well. If, if, you, if you stop moving it, I can show sorry. everyone. That's lovely, that. Nice. That's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much for that, Brent. That's lovely. It is really lovely, that. So thank you very much, Brent and George. I'll definitely put this on our Christmas tree as soon as we get home. That's honestly absolutely lovely, that. Yeah. It is. So that's three new ornaments that we've got. For our Christmas tree. We've got this little guy right here. How adorable. We've got the snowflake. And then we've also got the ornament. Right, we need to open up now because that took a bit uh, longer than we thought and uh, we should already be open and we haven't. So, whoops, never mind. Uh. So, we were just going to make corned beef hash and I phoned my grandma earlier. Well, tell them about how work's been quite quiet. Work's been very quiet yeah. today. But anyway, what I was saying was I'd phone my granddad because he was giving us the recipe for corned beef hash, his signature traditional dish. And we which, were going to make that instead. And I was going to make. 
we were. You mean okay, I was you were going to make it and I was going to eat it. But then my grandma interjected and was like, just come round and I'll make it and show you exactly how to do it. So we're going to go around my grandma's and Yeah, change your plans, but I'm not complaining. It's going to be free corned beef hash. I hope Del she doesn't expect any money for it. Me grandma. I'm taking the mick. No, she wouldn't. I know she's in a restaurant, cafe. Oh, she used cafe to say grandma. that all the time. She used what? to be like, if I charged the amount of grandkids I had, I'd make a fortune. <laughs> Do you impression of your granddad telling the uh, ingredients? What you need to do is uh, half the onion, chuck that in, get yourself a uh, parsnip, carrot, bit some peas. And if you knew his granddad, that's like bang on his granddad. Throw that in. Out uh, put your corned beef on the top. Uh, he's from a piv village. He's, yeah. a, he's a proper miner. Miner. Yeah. Right. We're going to head off and we're going to have some food. Mm. And then tonight, um, we will put up those Christmas decorations that we got this morning. So thank you for those. And we will put up the card as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's... Uh, but for, we've, we've, got, we've got Christmas cards from all over. Yeah. I will show you like where the Christmas cards are all from. Oh, thank you, Aidan. That was lovely of me. Uh, in fact, I, I don't think I've ever looked as good as I do right now. That looks fantastic. But for now, bon voyage. Guess what shapes that go together Ryan, thinking it's funny because I need a wee, has Ed locked, needs a wee, has so locked. I'd, call, I'd lock the door just by turning the dial. From the outside. So then, ah, you can't go now. And normally, like, if Ed's in the shower or the bathroom, I can, like, open the door and make him jump or whatever, yeah? So I can't actually unlock it. So hopefully this will work. Oh, it Boom, did work. done. So you can now go for a wee. Thank you. Okay, so today hasn't been that busy uh, at work, but there's lots to do tonight, because obviously we got sent some gifts, didn't we? So they're going to go on the tree. I'm looking forward to sorting that out. I've got a Christmas card from my sister, this new one here. So that's like all family and friends. And then that's all you guys. It is. Uh, there you go. I need to move this one because I need to move this stocking. There we go. Then you can then we can see all the cards that you've sent us. That's really sweet. That, that like I said in the many other videos that we've like got something as a gift or a Christmas card or something. It's genuinely really flattering that you guys want to send us something. So you take time out of your day, you take money out of your income that you work hard for, and pay for the postage, pay for the card, pay for the gift. You know what I mean? And, and anyone that I, uh, I speak to and let them know that this is what's happening thinks, eee, isn't that like really, really sweet? So, for example, one of our friends, Yasmin, came into the cafe today, and I showed her the, the three presents that we got this morning in the card, and they were like, eee, no way, and obviously, like, some are even from Austria today, so, and she's like, eee, that's crazy, that, so. So I'll wait until Aiden's done with the bathroom, and then we'll do the Christmas tree together. We will, with our new little lovely ornaments. I also need to do the washing up, which I am not looking forward to doing. <sighs> Wake up. Time to wake up, babies. Okay, I, I didn't know how to wake you up. Hmm? I didn't know how to wake you up. Okay. I didn't know whether to be nice and sweet to you. Or be like, WAKE UP! WAKE UP, Aiden! Which one do you prefer? The first one. Okay. So I'm awake. Wake up. Thank you. 
Right. You even had earplugs in? I know, yeah, because you were snoring. But you could have gone to bed. Oh, that was sweet. Oh. What are you doing? You're just so cute. What? You're just so cute. Yep. Irritating. <laughs> Genuinely, me and Aiden in Snowwake, obviously, yeah. Love the, like, small community that we have in the comment section below. It is, quite frequently, just about the regular same faces that we see. And when we get someone new, they say, I'm new around here, subscribed to you last week or something like that. I'm really enjoying your videos, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, Nick Hoffman, who I've, I've seen a couple of times, not a lot, just a couple of times in the comment section below. I'm going to presume that Nick is one of our new subscribers. Genuinely, I've just said to Aiden, and I just thought I wanted to repeat it, like, to you guys. We really, really, really like the small small community that we've got down there because, for example, the other day I was taking the mic saying that it was such a boring day that I had to make the fact that we've got a new iron board cover interesting. Here's a clip. So we aren't really doing that much exciting today really so we have to kind of show you everything we're kind of doing. So let's just like build up to it. Would you like to see our new iron board cover? Now some of you like, in the comment section of that uh, video were like, oh, you know, it was a really nice day to see what you were doing on your day off. It wasn't boring at all. Don't worry about it. And people were like, thought the clip with the iron board was really funny. Nick has just commented there this. And the only way I can guess the way he's saying it is like pretending to be upset about it and being like, and no update on the iron board either. Um, so that made me laugh like quite a lot really that we have that kind of community where we joke around with each other. We both want you guys to engage with us in the comment section below and feel as though that we know you and you know us. Like when we were Skype calling at the weekend, one of our new parents, Rob, he knew so much about us because he watched the majority of our videos. We knew very little about him and as our relationship grows with the other parents, not just Rob, our new parent, but our other new parents that we've all got, I don't want it to be a one way like street, like at all. I want to know who's decided to support me and Aiden, which allows us to buy new equipment, new camera lenses and stuff like that. And therefore, we both know each other very, very well. And whether or not you're a patron or not, it's really, really nice that because we've got such a small community in the comment section, it's almost like we know characteristics of certain people. And, and that's really, really sweet. It is. I suppose that's the plus side of being a small YouTube channel in comparison to if you were a massive YouTube channel and you've got thousands and thousands of comments and you haven't got a bloody clue who they are. Now Aiden is replying to every single comment uh, for Vlogmas. Are you doing that now, darling? Um, not at the moment, but I will do it now. No. You, he will. Yeah, I promise you. He'll, he'll reply to your comments. He has been, I swear. Right. We're going to need to decorate the Christmas tree, so I'm going to do that now. Bye. Hi guys, so, um, I've put some... Ribbon. ribbon? Is that, that's not really Ribbon, good. string. String yeah. around the Christmas decorations that we've got from Brent and Wilfred. So yep. this has come all the way from Kansas City. And yep. this is Kansas City with yep. the lights and stuff. Isn't that amazing how he's had it printed on the front of one of these uh, yep. things. And then this has come from Austria. Yes, as well as the angel. Yeah, as well as the angel. But you can't actually put that on the tree, but we'll put it on the um, our unit thing. So where shall we put these, Ryan? What, what about on that one there? Yes, this is a good one. Yeah, perfect. That looks, that looks lovely, that. There, on there, look. Wonderful. There we go. That looks really, really lovely, that. Beautiful. And then... Right next to our other gold snowflake. Yes. And then where are we going to put this one? Um, here. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. There we go. That looks absolutely lovely, that. Yeah. And then... Get it in your hand. I've put it somewhere. You left it over there, you fool. Sorry. <laughs> so also, we got this little angel in a bottle from Wilfred. It's come all the way from Austria as well. Honestly, that's uh, Isn't it's that so, so, cute? so cute. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to put it next to the robin? And it's going to go right next to the robin. So it's going to go next to the robin. Right in there. front of the television. So when we're watching the television, Vince. it'll be right there. So, so thank yeah. you very much, Wilford and Brent. Yes. What an absolutely amazing gifts. We've got loads of stuff, haven't we, over this Christmas time? All the Christmas yeah. cards and the truffles. Mm -hmm. and, and some copper which was very thoughtful. This Our singing bear singing, from Rob. Yes, some lo loads and loads of cards, which we really appreciate. Yeah. 
And what's lovely about all these Christmas gifts is that we'll get them out every single year and then we'll remember that we've got them from yeah. you wonderful people. Yeah. Um, and honestly, to send us baubles and little trinkets like that is the cutest thing. Yeah. It's so thoughtful. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> so we're going to head to bed now. Uh, we um, are getting our haircut tomorrow morning. So yeah. Nice and early, so we're going to have an early night. Yes. So you'll see our brand new do's tomorrow, mm -hmm. ready for Christmas and stuff. So yes. So yeah. Well, please, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you hit the channel if you haven't already, then click that subscribe button and also click our notification bell and look at all of our notifications whenever we upload a new video. Yeah. But until tomorrow, bye. bye. bye.